So in my last video, I was introducing this idea of chars being single characters, and I had given the instruction of char degrees equals the degree symbol. And if you were kind of playing at home for a second, you may have scratched your head and went, hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. There's no degree symbol on the keyboard, Mr. Goweta. What are you doing? You are terrible. Well, okay. I respect your opinion, but how do I make the degree symbol all of a sudden? So we clearly cannot do it like this, so how do we tackle this problem? Well, one of the things that we introduced in the last lecture was something, again, called escape characters, which are those characters that are not on the keyboard, or they're not uh, easily identifiable. So say, for example, uh, the tab or something called the new line. That's actually what happens when we uh, type, uh, we hit the enter key. If I wanted to represent tab, I would do a single quote that slash lowercase t. That would separate it. If I want to actually put in new lines, I want to have, I want to treat it like a things are appearing on a new line each time. It's the same concept. I go uh, single quote slash lowercase n. And as you can guess, that'll let me put it on another line. But getting back to degrees, you know, I'm not, I'm not skirting that issue, guys, I promise you. But one of the things that we're allowed to do in Java is something called Unicode. And once upon a time, you probably learned in your original computer classes something known as ASCII. ASCII allows me to take any single binary number, any binary number, convert it into its decimal notation, and guess what? Then switch that to what it means uh, in kind of a, a human world. Well, as you can kind of guess, ASCII, only because it was 8 bits, not very useful. It can only store uh, 256 possible characters. Again, the degree symbol is not one of those characters, so we're kind of SOL. That's where Unicode came in. Unicode basically said, well, we're going to take all of ASCII, we're going to eat it up, we're going to assimilate it in, but we're also going to start to include some of those more complex symbols, like the degree symbol. Or, for anyone in Spanish-speaking countries, uh, E's and A's with the accent on them. You know, those are kind of important, as you can imagine. So how do I get all these different types of characters to display? Well, we do the same kind of thing, and I'll even come up here again. We do the same kind of thing. We start with our slashes, or our, our single quotations, and then slash. And just like we would do here when we did a slash T and a slash N for tab and new line, to say I'm going to put a Unicode character into my char, I do a lowercase u. Now, for the degree symbol, it's relatively simple. What we're actually looking at is 0, 0, B, 0, the hexadecimal notation of our Unicode character. But how do I find out what all the Unicode characters are if one of the ones I'm looking for isn't readily available? Well, one of the things that we can do is we can Unicode table. And there's tons of them readily available to us, so we can look for them. Say, for example, I want to look for the degree symbol. Degrees. We've got a few of them. If we keep on doing it, you can already see. Look at that, 0, 0, B. If you can't, just to move it over, 0, 0, B. That's what we would type in. So it can go for anything. So E with accent. I think that might work. Oh, there we are. All right, capital E with the grave, 0, 0, C, 8. So we're able to kind of take all of these and then apply them. So now, let's again, like always, take this and put it into practice. I've already kind of pre-built it for us. That's how I knew the degree symbol off the top of my head, I know. So smooth. But 
we've got that char degrees, it's stored up there, and then I have a simple little print statement saying it is 50 degrees Fahrenheit outside. So if I take this and I compile it up, we see we get no errors, we run this, and notice what it says. It is 50, the degree symbol, that's the big guy right there, right there, outside. So these char data types using Unicode, we can start to represent more complex sentences.